is up, everybody? My name is Termental, and I am playing AI Dungeon, the dungeon that is controlled by AI. This is an artificially intelligent thing that makes things that you read, and then stuff happens in them. So we're going to do a custom prompt. Uh, what shall we do here? Okay, let's see. You are at the local pottery... Wait, no, it's got to be pottery barn when you run into Markiplier, who is buying uh, a shopping cart full of lamps. Just then, Scott Cawthon emerges from one of the aisles. He points at Markiplier in an accusatory fashion and screams, Heretic. You look at the two men who appear to look back at you expectantly. <laughs> what does that mean? I don't know. You are at the local pottery barn when you run into Markiplier, who is buying a shopping cart full of lamps. Just then, Scott Cawthon emerges from one of the aisles. He points at Markiplier in an accusatory fashion and screams, Heretic. You look at the two men who appear to look back direct look back at you expectantly. Do you A, intervene? Yes, A. I A. Yeah, I'm, I'm selecting A. That's enough of that, Scott, you say. You're way too nice a guy. I'm not nice, Scott Cawthon says. I'm a heretic. I pat Scott Cawthon on the shoulder and try to cheer him up as Markiplier starts smashing lamps on the floor in a blind rage. Mark's not taking it well. Getting called a heretic. It's the one thing he hates. Hey, bud, maybe you could come work for me. I'm starting my own business in the town of Swallow. <laughs> what, what, does that, what does that allude to? You could run it, make a lot of money, and maybe even be mayor one day. Uh, okay. Listen, Scott. I know you had trouble, what with the Trump support and all the religious gobbledygook, but... Is that how you sp pronounce, uh, spell it? Gobbledygook, okay. But I think you have a bright future at my company in Swallow. I'm trying to be reassuring here. You know, come on. I know you had some trouble, but we can move past it. What the fuck? Fuck off! Shut up! I'm not listening to your lies, Scott Cawthon says. Alright, well, fuck. <sighs> I encourage Markiplier to throw lamps at Scott Cawthon's stupid... Republicant head. Let's see where this goes. Come on, Mark. I'm gonna bash you. Come on, Mark. Let's see how much of a man you can take on. I don't think I can. Yeah, show me what you got. I guess that's Scott saying, show me what you got. Alright. Boop, boop. Mark a plier. Lobs a lamp directly at Scott Cawthon's forehead. Suddenly, someone intervenes. Let's see who it is. If anybody. The story may just cold reject me. You. Hey, that guy's not so tough. The girls. Ooh, the boss man is so cute. I guess that's me. Man, what seems to be the trouble here? You. Okay, so now I should say something, I guess. What? Who is the man? Kitty, what's going on here? Who are you, man? Who is this? Who is this third guy that's arrived on scene to talk to me? Man, I'm the town sheriff. And you, I think you're the new guy that's been brought on board to run this place. You. That I am, sheriff. Can I call you, uh, Minecraft's dream? <laughs> nice to see you off the SMP and doing real work. Easy. We're just deciding that the sheriff is dream. I don't even know anything about him. Sheriff. That's a, a Minecraft fan? I'll give you that. 
All right. Hands in the air, everyone. You, Sheriff. We do nothing. Uh, Markiplier makes a run for it, despite the Sheriff's orders, and is shot at. I'm gonna get out of here! Water, but bird, bird. I gotta get home to Jiga! Markiplier makes a run for it, despite the Sheriff's orders, and is shot at. The other three prisoners are handcuffed and forced to kneel by the sheriff. You. Nothing. Sheriff. Now then, what's your name? Wait. <laughs> Markiplier apparently gets shot, gets shot off screen. I don't know. I tell the sheriff my... I tell Sheriff Dream my name. Alright, let's see what happens here. <sighs> he asks, What are you doing in this neck of the woods? You, Sheriff. <laughs> I take the Sheriff's gun. <laughs> I, just, I don't want to talk to this motherfucker. He won't even acknowledge his real name is Dream. What the fuck? Sheriff, now then, you better get all three to the hospital. You're going to need some stitches. I take the prisoners, prisoners to the hospital as Scott... Cawthon lies on the floor with a lamp beaten skull. I guess I'm taking the prisoners to the hospital as Markiplier has been shot by the sheriff and Scott Cawthon has been hit in the head. Who's that, Mark? You ask, pointing to spot... What? Markiplier lies there silently, having, shot by, having been shot by Sheriff Dream. I mean, what the fuck? What do you expect? You pat him on the shoulder, but then the sheriff barks. Quiet. You, sheriff. You know what? You know what? Fuck you, sheriff. Fucking piece of shit. Tell me to be quiet. I'm not taking your prisoners to the hospital. Sheriff. What? I just saved the lives of three men. I should be the one getting a medal. Not some sissy who likes to cuss. <laughs> I show the sheriff my shiny new medal uh, apparently given to me for my ability to sissy around <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I don't even know what that means how, do, how does one sissy around sheriff hmm, well I guess you do have the right to be a sissy but only after I'm done shooting you I have your gun. I shoot Sheriff. I, I have the gun. What are you talking about, idiot? I took it from you. Sheriff, no! With a single bullet, the Sheriff's head explodes into a crimson mist. He falls to the floor and dies. You. I free the three prisoners and ask for their names. Boom! Easy. Simple. Let's find out who these three prisoners are. Are they the three wise men? One of the prisoners is named Jesse, another is named Lucy, and the third is named Anthony. You. Nothing. Lucy. The sheriff's dead, isn't he? Anthony. Nothing. I escort Lucy off to woo her as Anthony Anthro <laughs> Anthrody and Jesse go play uh, League of Legends. Easy. Very simple. You escort Lucy off to woo her as Anthony and Jesse got, got shit. I did it wrong. After Lucy leaves, Anthony says, You should probably escort Jesse off, too. He's probably just as lost as she is, if not more. Jesse stays with Anthony. <laughs> I'm not taking it with me. I'm going off with Lucy. What the fuck? You, Anthony, Lucy, Jesse, Anthony. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. So, Lucy, what brings you... To Pottery Barn. Oh, right. The sheriff did because you were a prisoner. Ha ha ha. <laughs> this is so stupid. I'm trying to make small talk, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, uh, come on. It's broken now? Fuck, dude. Retry. I came to visit my uncle, Lucy said. What kind of uncle? 
A doctor. Oh, really? Yes. So, Lucy, uh, why, what did you do to go to prison? What crime did you commit? Kitty, come here. What are you squealing about? Come here. Lucy, I killed my stepfather. You what? I killed him. Oh. Bra -bra. Was your stepfather an animatronic bear? Just curious. Because if so, you probably did the world a favor. What? Your stepfather was an anima animatronic bear, wasn't he? Lucy, I, I don't know. I think so. <laughs> That's a pity. <laughs> Alright, uh, let's see. Lucy and I... I guess that's the story. You and Lucy talk all night. Eventually, five years later, you marry. <laughs> Lucy is like some, some 60 year old truck stop meth addict. Lucy, I can't believe our five year anniversary is almost here. Our anniversary? Ha ha ha. Yes, isn't it exciting? Uh, remember, remember the day, fuck, remember the day we met, Markiplier was throwing lamps at Scott Cawthon, and then that sheriff showed up and started shooting. That's how I found you, the star at the top of my Xmas tree. Ah, wistfully remembering the days gone by. Lucy, oh yeah, that was a fun day. So tell me, what's the plan for our anniversary? Take me to the town of our anniversary? No. I am getting you a member membership uh, to the opera. <laughs> I don't know. What do you what do you get women? <laughs> what do you get what do you get your wife? The opera? Really? Yeah, I think opera is the perfect anniversary gift. Will Scarlett O'Hara ever get married or something? Listen, Scarlett O'Hara. Uh, Scarlett O'Hara has her own baggage to work out. I mean, I think she's actually, actually got something going on with that with that maid of hers. <laughs> what do you say, Lucy? Really? I think it's sweet. Yeah, love is love, babe. <laughs> say, why don't you put on those shoes I like? Which is no shoes. <laughs> Oh, God. What is this? Why? Wait. How did this start out? Five years later. When is our anniversary? I forget. Anniversary. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, shit. Oh, God. I grow old with Lucy, and we forget everything. Aw. Oh, that's how it goes. That's how it goes, folks. Oh, God. That's so true. Yeah. That's how it goes. Wait, what? <laughs> what? We died a year later. Anniversary says nothing. You say nothing. Lucy, that was five years ago, I think. You, Lucy, what did you do to me? Um, apparently, you and Lucy are ghosts. You haunt a... You haunt the beat seller of an old Russian couple. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense, right? The Russian. Nothing. Man. I'm so sorry. My husband died in the war. He haunts this place and I can't get rid of him. Woman. I, this, okay, this thing is just broken. <laughs> Suddenly, <laughs> war breaks out. What the fuck? This is so stupid. 
The Russian woman screams. The man says, quick, hide. The war is starting. Man, nothing. The couple hide. The Russian, nothing. Man, here they come. Hide. Everyone hides, but really poorly. The old woman is standing behind the curtains, but her feet are showing. The man is standing with a lampshade over his head. They are both really easy to find, and the soldiers who are invading, and the invading <laughs> soldiers, sod liars, spot them immediately. See what you think of that, AI dungeon, you fucker. <laughs> Man, nothing. The soldiers, halt, who's there? Man, show yourself or we'll shoot. Man, I'm not going to show myself, you Nazi swine. Wait, this isn't... Wait, okay. Uh, Nazis lose the war, but for some reason, <laughs> a bunch of assholes don't let it go. Like, ever. <laughs> Uh, a bunch of people still want to be Nazis, even though they lost. I don't get it. Man, I'm sorry my husband died in the war. He owns this place and I can't get rid of him. Fuck. Okay. Alright. The Nazis? The Nazis die. This, this is just broken. The Nazis die, the couple survives. The Russian, the man. There's the Gestapo. Quickly get in the cellar. Move. <laughs> the Gestapo dies. Evil dies. Everything dies. No. We're not doing this. The couple lives. The end. There we go. Easy. What the fuck even was this? You and Lucy have both become animatronics. Oh no! The two of you spend your eternity haunting a subway station. <laughs> oh, please don't show this. Don't show this to Scott Gothon. He's gonna make he's gonna make a game out of it. Fuck it. No, don't do it. Alright, so that's the end of the story. Oh, Lucy said it. Alright, that's it. I don't know what the fuck's going on anymore. Bye. Hey.